Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kevin Gletz, and I'm a program facilitator with the Regina District Industry Education Council and SunWest School Division. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce Chantelle Berezowski, who is a chiropractor assistant currently working in Saskatoon. Chantelle is a former student of mine who graduated from Rosetown Central High School and then went on to obtain a kinesiology degree at the University of Regina from the Faculty of Kinesiology and Health Studies. Many students often wonder what type of employment results from a kinesiology degree, and today Chantelle will tell us about her journey to employment. Just a reminder before we begin, this session is being recorded and will appear on the RDIEC YouTube channel for you or others to view in the future. We'd also like to request that any students who watch this video go to our website at www.rdiec.ca and complete the student survey that can be found at the, at, on the website. Completion of the survey gets your name in a monthly draw for a $50 gift card. Again, the website is www.rdiec.ca. Once again, thanks, Chantal, for doing this session today, and welcome, and I'll turn it over to you. Of course. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, so like Kevin mentioned, um, I went through kinesiology to get my degree there, and I became a chiropractic assistant, but the what I've been training to do now is called a patient manager. The terms can actually be used pretty interchangeably. And our goal at the clinic is actually to get all the chiropractic assistants trained up as patient managers. And right now I'm working at Central Avenue Health Center in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So a bit of what I do first and foremost, um, I assist the chiropractors with all the new inpatient intake procedures. So what that means is uh, for a new patient at our clinic, they go through a day one and day two process every time. And I'll be with them throughout those day one and day twos. For the rest of their treatment, they will only see the chiropractor. Part of what my job is during those day ones and day twos is the health teaching aspect of it. The chiropractors do the range of motion testing and all the other types of neurological testing that they do. And they also do the cracking itself. but my role in this part is that we go through and teach the patients what's actually happening in their bodies, what's causing their dysfunction. And if they do get x-rays done, this is where I come in as the patient manager and I will explain their x-rays to them. On top of that, we also have front desk duties. That is where the chiropractic assistant comes in. So that's where we are on the front desk. You're doing the scheduling and the calls and it's basically reception all the charting needs to be done. And then another part of the front desk is also making sure that all the insurance is ran through properly and correctly. And if there is any discrepancies, uh, it is our job to make sure that the insurance is gone through correctly for the patients. Just another little bit that I have, we, have, we all have these shared small side jobs and part of mine at the clinic is part of the social media. So some skills that are needed for this job, definitely multitasking. You cannot get through a day without being able to multitask in this position. There is always a ton going on and communication is also huge. Being able to communicate all the things that are going on in the clinic in the day to your fellow office staff or to the chiropractors, the massage therapists, really need good communication skills and time management. It is our job to keep the chiropractors on time throughout the day. And if they're not, the whole day can get thrown off. So that one is another really big skill to have for this. Traits, personable, friendly, energetic. We are seeing a ton of people a day and you have to be personable and you have to like dealing with people to be in this position for sure. I also have caring in here because part of the patient managing and the health teaching, when we're explaining these x-rays to them and setting up a patient for a treatment plan, you do need to have that caring trait. Like you need to care that these people need this care and set them up for the proper treatment plan or they won't get the best care that they deserve. So the personality best suited for this is someone who's overall personable and upbeat. The facility. So we are located at 1400 Central Avenue, which is just north of the train tracks in Sutherland, which is in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That is the outside of our little bungalow building. 
and that, that's what you will walk in and see once you get inside. Now at this clinic, it's not just chiropractic, even though I, I deal mostly with the chiropractors. We also have acupuncture and massage, and we have an aromatherapy steam room. So we actually do use a lot of equipment here in the clinic, like I said, for explaining the x-rays and a back scan, which is what I'll get to in a minute here. We use x-ray mo or sorry, spine models and uh, vertebrae models that are movable and uh, an anatomically correct so that we can actually point out what is going on in the patient's spine. We are also trained to sent off for orthotics if a patient may require some. So this is a orthotic plate that we use to, and as patient manager, we conduct these tests for the patients. And what this scan does is it reads your feet as you walk across it, and it takes all of that data and it puts it into a program, which we use TOG. And then we send that off and then we're able to get a custom pair of orthotics for a patient who might need them. The other equipment we use is called a back scan. So a back scan measures the amount of electricity flowing through the nerves at each level of the spinal column. And as patients, so the chiropractor does this portion of the scan but as patient manager, my job is to then explain the scan, the results of the scan to the patient. All of these scans and scheduling, all of the cash out information that we need is all on our program called ChiroTouch. Chiro so we also need to be trained up on that equipment and know how to use it. So some rewards of this occupation, obviously the biggest one is patient success. We love seeing somebody who comes into the clinic and has either never been to a chiropractor before or hasn't had success and they're still in a lot of pain and they complete their treatment plan and walk out feeling better than them when they walked in. That is our goal and we love to see it. We also have quarterly goals. So we'll have four goals every three months. If we reach these goals, we do get rewarded. I think even one year they took the entire clinic to Mexico for a reward. So getting those goals can be very rewarding. Conferences, we, although it is um, a learning opportunity and it is taken very seriously, it is nice. We do get sent to Denver, Colorado and Florida and Las Vegas for conferences. So it is kind of a nice break from the office and a good time to continue your learning. Another reward of this particular occupation is that we have such a positive work environment. The entire team works really well together and it is a small clinic, so we are really tight knit. Coming from a small town, I think I really appreciate that a lot in the clinic. Also, these services are all right there for me to use. I am able to receive chiropractic treatments and massage and acupuncture there and it is very convenient and a very nice perk of this occupation. Some challenges. So for this particular position in the clinic there is a huge learning curve. Typically they don't want anyone training to be a patient manager until about a year into their starting at the clinic. This is just because there's so much information to learn that in order to be ready, that is about how long it takes. However, with my circumstance, I've only been in this clinic since November and they, I'm already training up to be a patient manager just due to some scheduling and um, our office manager is moving back to Australia, so I will be stepping into her role. Another challenge is that patients can be challenging. A lot of times this comes due to the fact that they're in pain. And so although uh, it is challenging, it is easy to remind yourself that this person is in pain. It is nothing you are doing, and it's just to overcome this, you just be as upbeat and personable as you can and 
really just read their expressions and go along with the, where they're at. And overcoming that is almost a reward. So it's, it's still a challenge. Patients that are in pain is a challenge in itself because we don't like to see it. Obviously, we don't want patients coming in that can't walk or can't even sit or stand for very long. It is That is definitely one of the challenges, but can be a reward when we see them come out of that pain. Another challenge is that it is extremely fast paced. This one's similar to the big learning curve is that if you're in the time management skill, you need to be able to keep up with everything that's going on and there is always a lot going on. So getting used to that is definitely a challenge. So for salary and benefits, typically you start out at about $15 an hour and that would be your base receptionist rate. And as you climb up and get more training, if you desire to go higher up in the clinic and become the patient manager, you your salary will just be reflected of that. We also are provided with a group health plan which covers health, vision, dental and drug benefits. The clinic is never open on stat holidays, which is quite nice. It's um, definitely a benefit. And the job hours, they are Monday to Saturday. So the clinic is open from seven till seven, Monday to Friday. So I will be working anywhere between those hours within an eight hour shift. And on Saturdays, I work an eight hour shift on a Saturday, but not all the time. Those get divided up between all of us girls at the clinic. Education. So you definitely have to have your high school diploma. And then we prioritize hiring based on people with the kinesiology degree. We just find that the terminology that is used around the clinic is definitely best used with like each other if you're familiar with that and you definitely need that even if you're only going to be on the desk. Some other helpful programs are from CMCC and KMC University. These aren't typical universities per se, they are more specifically directed at chiropractic programs. So with the CMCC you can take any types of programs that are related to chiropractic then they also will provide chiropractors with cred credits so that they continue on with their license. It's also good for just anybody that's going to be in the office to keep fresh and continue on with their developing education because chiropractic and with massage and acupuncture, this is part of the health industry, which is constantly changing. If you're not taking sub like some sort of education post, you're not going to keep up. You have to keep up with the healthcare industry. And that's a great way for it to do for somebody in the chiropractic industry to do so. I also have put down reception certification certification. Personally, I don't have this. I do find that that would have been very helpful to have prior to stepping into this role. So oh, for my journey, I started at the University of Regina, like Kevin said. These are just a couple of the options that I was extremely interested in as a kinesiology student. I bounced everywhere from physiotherapy to chiropractic to supporting people with disabilities to being uh, to going back to school to become a registered nurse. There are just so many opportunities out there with a kin degree that it can be hard to pick just one. So what I wanted to do with my university is really try everything that I could and see what I thought would be my, would best suit me. That ended up being a strength and conditioning coach. Actually, I was getting into that at the university training a couple of university teams. And then I ended up with a internship here in Saskatoon that 
would have led me to be a strength and conditioning coach. I was really enjoying it, thought that that was definitely my niche and was going to run with it as soon as I graduated. Unfortunately, COVID-19 did hit and it did throw my career journey far off. Um, all of a sudden, gyms were completely closed. The industry that I was planning to step into out of graduation was all of a sudden completely obsolete. And I wasn't sure there where to go from there because I thought I had it figured out and I totally didn't. Fast forward through the summer of COVID, the first year of COVID there, I landed a job as a disability support worker. This was something that I was also super interested in during university. However, after trying it, I realized that it did not provide me with a good work-life balance whatsoever. I, my health started to deteriorate very quickly. And I realized that that just was not the environment for me. And the next thing I looked towards was the chiropractic assistant. And this just stuck out to me while I was looking because it was another thing that was on my list that I was always interested in in university, but never really got a chance to actually go out and practice. And reading the description of the job, it was all right up my alley. And I figured I must give it a go and I haven't stopped enjoying it ever since. Some opportunities that you will receive if you become, or if you enter into the chiropractic community is that it is internationally accredited. So like I mentioned before, um, the reason why I'm kind of fast-tracked into the patient manager role is because our current office manager is going back to Australia she is actually going back to continue her career in, in chiropractic in Australia. You can go anywhere and it is pretty similar to how it would be here. And you can also get licensed to become a chiropractor anywhere, even no matter where you got your chiropractic degree. So I think that is a huge perk of this job as somebody who really likes to travel. So some chances for advancement, like I was saying, we do go to a lot of conferences and we really focus on education development. We are constantly learning in the office and that is only going to lead you further. And uh, whether that means bring in more patients or just have more success with patients based on that education development, I think that is a great way to provide yourself some chance for advancement. My particular role as a chiropractic assistant slash patient manager pretty much ends there unless I wanted to become office manager. However, the chiropractors and owners of this clinic are very, very supportive of people going off and becoming a chiropractor themselves. And so they have actually had numerous uh, amounts of um, chiropractic assistants that started there with them just as an assistant that moved on to become a chiropractor themselves so that is very interesting and then also physiotherapy is quite closely related to chiropractic and I think a lot of people will definitely coincide the two together and they're also definitely used together to help overcome an injury very good modality to use the multiple different kinds of therapies to overcome whatever you're going through. Life-work balance. So it asks, does this occupation work well with family life and allow you to enjoy life outside of work? Like I was mentioning, the job that I had as a disability support worker, I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of work-life balance. And what made me start enjoying this job so much is that I was specifically looking for that and I found it in this career as a patient manager at Central Avenue. This is because we have all the sad holidays like what was mentioned before. Um, so that just, it's already gonna be closed. I don't have to worry about booking off a holiday to spend time with my family. We are also are always closed on Sundays. And so if I ever need an extra day in the week, I always have it, which I never have experienced that before. So <laughs> that was very eye-opening. 
my work stays at work. So I don't ever bring work home with me. As soon as I leave the clinic, I trust that the other girls that are there have everything under control and that if I need to leave anything for myself, it'll be there for me when I get back. And if anything is urgent, I can pass it on to any one of my coworkers and they will pick up right where I left off. We have a lot of trust and communication between the four of us that work closely together and it helps your life outside of work because you don't have to stress about if what's there isn't getting done or if you miss something, it'll always get picked up. The other benefit that really helps this work-life balance is the flexible hours. Like I said, I only work closely with about, the well, there's four of us. And we take scheduling not so much as a, this is what you're doing. It's what should we do for this? It's how do we make this schedule work for everybody at the clinic? And we are also able to swap if we ever need to because there's so few of us and also because we work so closely, which has helped a lot in not just my life, but also my coworkers' lives. And if they need to spend that extra time with the family, we are more than willing to accommodate that. We are very pro wellness at the clinic. We promote each other always going in for treatments and making sure we're on top of our our own stress management and if somebody needs that time we are more than willing to give that to them. Okay. There. I finally hit, I finally hit the mute button. Very, <laughs> good. Very good, Chantel. Awesome. I, I had a couple questions. Um, when you said you, when you got your kinesiology degree and you say that's a good uh, a good uh, degree to get to get this kind of work, what was your particular or what particular major in or specialty in kinesiology kind of best suited to this kind of work? So my major is human kinetics, which would be the best suited. Okay, so something like that in that line. Okay, just because so, I know some students, they, they you know sometimes they they once they get into kinesiology, they find out, oh, I don't know if I want to get into administration and kinesi or anything. So that's one mm -hmm. good to go. So chiropractor, like, so how can this to go to chiropractor school? So can you because you'll have a degree? So I guess that that's one one part of it. Does this was this work experience help that too? So it maybe help you decide, but does it help you like? get your foot in the door as I know chiropractor school isn't always the easiest thing to get into. Yeah. So actually I'm working with a girl who she'll be leaving us in September because she's going off to chiropractic school. And she said it helped her a lot. I mean, you, you have that much more experience on anyone else who's applying. So it, it really is a one-up. Okay. Good. Good. Renette, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, you do. That was an awesome job, Chantel. Thank you. Um, I like the way Kevin prefaced um, the presentation by saying that, you know, so many people, a lot of students go into kinesiology, but they just don't know what that will lead to. And I think you've shown us um, a, a career option. Um, where do you see yourself as your next move? I know you said that you're quite enjoying this, um, this path right now. Uh, do you see yourself doing anything uh, to further and maybe, you know, what is your plan? I think students always like to know maybe too that what's, what's the next thing? Well, actually, now that I've been at this clinic and I've noticed that um, I, I do obviously really like what I'm doing, I have taken a real liking to acupuncture. And so something I've been really interested in lately that I never would have thought about in school was going and getting my acupuncture license and being able to do that while also still working at the clinic as a patient manager. That's yeah, I think that just shows you that there's just so many different paths that you can take and you don't really know that until you maybe get into a situation or into a clinic or into a job that just opens those possibilities open uh, up for you. So that's awesome. Thank you. Just, just to clarify, you mentioned office manager. Um, is that is that kind of the higher, is that one of the four people you're talking about? Like you said you work with? Yeah, uh, so she's separate. She is the one that's leaving. <laughs> yeah. So um, I work closely with four girls that we are all either chiropractic assistants only or also a patient manager. 
And yeah, and then one up above is the office manager who kind of oversees the four of us. I see. So is that is that kind of what they, did you say that's what they're training you for right now? Like you might take They're training me to step into a patient manager role. They're training um, one of the chiropractic assistants to do the office manager, oh, just to kind of okay. balance the workload a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. No, that's really that's well done. I, I I learned a lot. I didn't I didn't really understand that world. Um, so that, that's been a, that's been a great presentation. So thank you very very much, Chantel. Thank you.